One week after the death of a key witness in a mass murder case, we learned the trial for the suspect Michael Cummins is now on hold indefinitely. As you can see, News Channel 5's Nick Barris here with this exclusive story. And, and Nick, this trial was set to start in April, right? That's exactly right. Uh, the first of two trials set for Cummins, which were going to happen. Of course, he's accused of murdering eight people. Now that murder, the murders rather, was back in 2019 in Westmoreland in Sumner County. Just last week, as you heard Ben say, we learned that the only survivor, Cummins' grandmother, yes, she passed away. Now, she was expected to testify, but that is not this morning why things are delayed. I've learned even after two years of assessment and therapy, Cummins is still considered incompetent to stand trial. Now you need to understand that under the law, a suspect must be able to talk with and assist his lawyers in his defense. And to this point, Cummins, I'm told, is simply unable to do that. Benny's uh, described as being profoundly disturbed. So hmm. what we know right now, his April trial is not happening. Okay, so somewhat similarly, we just had the Waffle House shooter trial, right? right. And Antioch Travis Ryan King initially considered incompetent, mm -hmm. but then later deemed fit to stay in trial. So, I mean, is there the potential for that to happen with this Cummins case? It is. There is a potential for this, but I'm told that his mental state is very different from ranking that he ranking was diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic, a different situation they say right now for Cummins. Okay, so then the question is, I guess, what if Cummins is, is never deemed yeah. competent to stay in trial, then what happens? Yeah, that is something quite rare. This is still up in the air, but what it does mean if he's never deemed competent is he will remain locked up where he is held without bond until his mental state changes if it ever does. But right now, everything's on hold. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty though, if this case ever does go to trial.